Good evening, everybody. Tonight, I'll be sharing about um, something personal that, you know, through the grace of God, I have overcome now um, to, to a large extent, okay? It's, uh, you know, actually the the act of foolishness, you know, when we um, showcase our foolishness to the people around us, you know, and two things um, give birth to foolishness. One thing, you know, that I know personally, you know, that has put me on that spot is the ignorance. Okay, ignorance and the number two thing that I'm, you know, sharing with you tonight is, um, um, I call that in exposure, you know, the state of not being exposed. And, you know, that's actually the condition that an individual is in, in that particular time, you know, in the, in the state of their mind you know not just being exposed being ignorant not having enough information you know and not asking the right questions or not just being patient to, to you know to to take time to study the environment before they speak okay and it's really crucial and it's very important to to have or uh, you know to exhibit some some form of self-control you know and not totally exposing our, our foolishness to the uh, people around us and le le let me tell you something something that has happened to me personally so when I arrived in the United States we, we decided to go out you know I decided to go out with some uh, some of my friends and um, we decided to go to the mall to play some games and to to hang out with some other friends that I was gonna meet for the first time and then we we had all arrived at the mall and was waiting for the last person to come. And um, she arrived in this wonderful sedan car, really beautiful and huge, you know. And I hadn't seen a small um, uh, lady or a young lady drive that kind of a car before, you know, from where I was coming from in Nigeria. Um, I wasn't exposed to something like that. So I was really um, surprised and, you know, it was strange. I couldn't keep it to myself, so I went to one of my, one of my friends and I said, Hey boy, can you see that lady that we've been waiting for? Why she's driving that kind of a car? It's too big for her. She's a small girl. And this is why these girls don't get married. And this is why these girls don't have boyfriends. And this is why, you know, they keep crying and, you know, shedding fake tears and saying, Oh, someone's not talking to them. Number one. That kind of a statement was actually showing my foolishness state of mind, okay? And then was also showing that I had low self-esteem. And number three, it was showing that I was not exposed. It was showing that I do not understand how the system in my new environment works. And instead of me, you know, keeping short and looking and, and be more vigilant and, you know, be patient and, and study what's around me before I, I come to conclusions on certain matters that are really, you know, serious. There yeah, are life issues, you just you don't just talk, you don't just say whatever you want to say just because you feel about saying whatever you want to say. You know, you gotta, you know, think deep before you, you utter out some, some statements. But I wasn't doing that. I, I said it anyways, okay. And after, after, after some, some months, <laughs> I began to see, you know, um, the people around me. I began to see the kind of cars the people, you know, the students drive. And I was, I was, I started doing, the, you know, inf a lot of research. You know, I went online, do, did a lot of research, asked questions. You know, I decided, and I discovered how things work in my new environment. Okay? And immediately as I, I began immediately i began you know getting the right information and um you know i started seeing things differently and that's one of the problems that we have as individuals who refuse to get knowledge refuse to get the right information we get beaten every time you know people talk for us or people give us their own opinion we get mad so unconsciously or in our subconscious and it's really it's really bad let me tell you another story when I went to to 
uh, we, I traveled together with my with my wife. Then we, we, we were just engaged so we went for a photo shoot in, in, in New York City, in Manhattan. And when we came back to Rhode Island, she was fast asleep in the car. And then we rented this beautiful um, sedan car. And I, I wanted to fill it up with gas. You know, we call it petrol in Nigeria. So I wanted to rip see. <laughs> you get me. So I... That was my first time, okay? That was my first time of of, of, of of driving to a fall station or a gas station that had two nozzles. One was green. I didn't bother reading because it was dark. I was so tired. I was not patient. One was green and actually on the green one, was it was reading diesel, okay? And the other one was black and the black one, you know, normally it's for the... Um, gas, which is the gasoline or the petrol that we need to fill the car engine. Okay, so I wasn't thinking. So I, I took out the green one and I put it into the ga to the to the to the gas engine, you know. And I, I was already putting you know the diesel fuel inside uh, a gasoline engine. And then there was this this Caucasian man that was looking at me from afar and he was running towards my direction and he said no 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 that's a this that's is that a diesel engine is that a diesel engine i was looking at him what's wrong with this man he said that 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 you're putting diesel into that gas into that gas engine you better stop right now you better stop right now you know my wife woke up and she was like wow she was really surprised that i was i was i was doing you know foolishness okay and that is how some of us we just go around on the internet. We just keep clicking, even when someone someone's father dies or someone's mother dies, and they are there and they are trying to mourn. And but they put up the status. Some of us we go there, we go and click like. You know, we exposing our foolishness, which is pretty rare. So, in order for us to to overcome foolishness, and you know, to 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 get into a state of mind or to to get into a state of mind where the actions that we take you know corresponds to what's in our mind okay we need to acquire more knowledge we need to ask more questions we need to get on forums we need to get onto more educational relationships more insightful relationships into more insightful dialogues okay we need to read books we need to listen to tapes we need to go on youtube and listen to you know inspiration inspirational you know um words you know you know download you know um, books on our ipod and our ipods on our tabs on our phones okay and get busy and get more knowledge in there okay that's what i have for you tonight stop going around and going everywhere and exposing your foolishness to everybody it's not nice it's not cute it's not beautiful it's not handsome okay okay wisdom is profitable to the right and the bible says with all you're getting you can understand them with it. Good night, everybody, and God bless.